Hello again, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Redding, California to Sacramento, California. I'm flying a Cessna Citation Longitude. I'll be flying at a flight level of 3,500 feet. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I don't think I need the flaps, so I'll bring those up. Take off the parking brake. And let's go ahead and get going. Landing gear up. KA513 continue for self departure. Reading Tower KA513 continue for self departure. KA513 leaving my airspace frequency change approved. I'm going to climb a bit more and then I'll make my turn. Change. Center KA513 is type Cessna C700 tree miles south of Reading 1300 feet. Request flight following. KA513, Oakland Center. Wow, Oakland Center sounded really far away on the radio. Alright, we've exceeded the altitude I wanted to set. That's okay, I can go ahead and head back down to it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the throttle back because we don't need to be pushing this hard to accelerate up. Let's go ahead and drop down to 3500 feet. Looks like I need to do a little bit of a course correction here to line things up according to the compass dial. I seem to still be going up, so let's go ahead and nose down. But we did make the correction to the course, so that's good. A little bit of an overcorrection. It's okay. Still fighting with the plane's desire to shoot up in the air, so let's push down hard a little bit. Pull back on the throttle just a bit. Beautiful clear day here in California after all the recent rains we've had. It's 
see the snow up in the Sierra. Oops, I accidentally hit the throttle and it dropped all the way down to zero. I'm going to go ahead and engage autopilot at this point. Set the throttle at halfway. Autopilot's going to make a course correction. I can see we're transitioning into agriculture land now. Not, sh not sure what waterway that is on the right side. The snow in the Sierra is very pretty. I sh feel like I should fly over there, take a flight. Check out the stone. All right, well, <clears throat> let's switch to the drone, do a little bit of exploring around, grab the Xbox controller. See if I remember how to do this. Just to double check that we're. Oh, that's interesting. What view is this? How strange. I hit the wrong button, so I'm in the drone mode, and then I hit the button, the button to go to back into the external internal view. But in drone mode, it uses it, it does some other kind of thing. So we've got this wing view, and then we've got this ground view, which is very strange. I didn't realize there would be a view here. I'm not even sure where this is. Is this the destination airport, maybe? <laughs> kind of looks like it is. Anyway, um, what was I trying to do? trying to switch back to external view, go inside, double check that we're on course. We are, we're at the right altitude, speed's fine. It begins saying over speed somewhere in the 400s, and it's listed as having a higher speed than this for cruising, so I'm not worried about the speed. If I hit the drone button when I'm inside, what happens? Switch so directly to it. Okay, so then if I go to external view, I can go to the drone. Let's reset that again. But then the button to switch between internal and external now goes to different cameras. And again, it's this one on the ground, which is so interesting. I just, I wonder where this is. I don't know if it's the destination or the departure airport. I think it's a departure airport because Sacramento Airport would be a lot bigger than this. But why is there a view here, I wonder? Interesting. Uh, I think they fixed the problem with the drone speed. So in fact, I think they made it super fast. Let's give this a shot. Yeah, it's, it's super fast now. K-5-1-3 contact, North Tower approach, on one two five decimal 4 Good day. So then we're going to go check out this waterway. one two five decimal 4 for KA-5-1-3. And then we Norkel can approach KA-5-1-3. check with the plane, make sure everything is nominal. Looks like it is. Don't have to worry about landing for a while. This 
is a pretty waterway. Might be fun to take one of the seaplanes out and then boat around in it. Don't know what part of California this is exactly, somewhere between Redding and Sacramento. It would be a little far away for the drone to head up to the Sierra, so I'll do that as a different flight if I do it. I think I'm now exceeding the altitude of the airplane quite a bit. Not really sure where the airplane is or how to spot it. I think it might be labeled, but I don't, I don't see anything. Probably not directly below us. Alright, well anyway, I'll drop down and take a better look at these uh, little populated areas here. Looks like I'm getting a pretty decent frame rate. I've got my graphic settings on the strict high-end settings, no tweaks to it. Giving that a try. Trying to see if I, if I like the look. It looks a little less resolute than I like. I might need to bump it up. But I do like the smoothness of the high, of that <laughs> high frame rate video. Princeton. What is Princeton? Thank you for the message on the screen. I've got all the um, messages turned on again after all the recent changes to the app, just because I was having trouble knowing when to do certain things. At some point I'll turn that those idiot messages back off. Okay, and I'm gonna uh, reset this to the plane. Just take a look inside for a minute. That's a nice view. Of course I have to zoom out after I use the view controls. So I want to be able to see that whole panel. Interesting to see all those agricultural plots.
take a look at this little area down here, Live Oak. Oh, I need to reset the speed. Not that interesting, really, but why not, approach KA why not take a look at it? Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KA five one three NorCal approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Again with the pretty waterways. Cleared through Charlie airspace KA five one three. A little bit of a waterfall there, I guess. Check on the plane. So a little further down and I will request a landing pattern. Meanwhile we're rolling along here on the bottom. Sutter County, okay. Sutter is a name you hear a lot in California, especially in Northern California, associated with the gold rush. Is that it? Oh, that's a uh, little mini airport, what do you know? Practically a dirt strip. Marysville, Yuba City, these are all gold rush names. Okay, we're close enough now that I'm going to begin slowing us down. Being very careful to set the Xbox controller down without hitting any buttons because in this mode it would do things to the plane. I reckon I shut engines off before by fumbling with the stupid buttons. It's a quick check inside to make sure we don't have any warnings. Could probably increase the brightness on the screens, but they're perfectly visible as is. I aren't happy with our rate of slowdown. The goal would be to get to the point where I can put the flaps down. I think if I look inside somewhere it might tell me what those speeds are. Yeah, so around 2.30 is what I'm usually looking for. I'm actually going a bit slower now, so let me give us some throttle back. Go ahead and contact the tower about our training wheels. Sacramento Executive is the one we want. Executive Tower KA513 is 27 miles north, 3,500 feet with Alpha to land. KA513 Executive Tower. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 46 wing 337 at 5. Make straight in runway 20. Okay, I'm going to put the flaps down and get a lower speed going.
back on the throttle. Let's disengage autopilot. Alright, at some point we should begin to see the pattern entrance. I do need to make a little bit of a course correction here, it looks like. Dropping an altitude, I don't really want to do that. Not much to do at this point, except just maintain our course towards the pattern entrance, see if we can see it, and make our way to a landing. I'd like to be around 160 knots upon entering the landing pattern. I think it's okay to drop an altitude from 3500, the pattern should be lower. Still don't see anything. There we go. Okay, I think by the time we get there we'll be going slow enough. Put the nose up just a little bit. Like the pattern is a little higher, and we could use burning off the speed. Just a little bit more thrust. to enter the pattern. Throttle, we're going a little bit fast. That did allow us to get some altitude back. down, flaps down a bit more, 
And let's slow down and enter the pattern. Keep it in the 150s for now. like to be a little bit more on the right side and keep the runway kind of at the center of my view. Altitude was off. Clear to land runway 20 KA51 tree. Should have been over. Generic 84 Papa turn next taxiway. stage flaps. Generic 8-4 turn, next taxiway. A little bit more thrust, it's going to tell me I'm going too slow. Throttle a bit. I feel like we're on a good glide slope here. K five one three, go around. Go around. Okay, we'll do. Flaps up to third to second stage. K five one three, acknowledge last transmission. Landing gear up. Flaps to first stage. I've had this problem before where I've had to go around. Once I had to go around a couple times and then was finally able to land. It was due to a plane not getting off the runway.
kind of a tight turn here. Okay, I'm going to de-throttle, put the flaps down to stage 2, and the landing gear. to the right side of the landing pattern. I'm not sure if this is still the go-around brackets or the landing pattern brackets. I think it might be the go-around brackets. That generic is still not exiting. That's going to be the problem, I think. Okay, the brackets seem to be getting narrower, so I think I'm in the landing pattern, per se. Generic 8-4 Papa turn, next taxiway. I'm a little on the low side, but I think that's okay. At this point, we just need to wait it out and get there safely. Landing gear's down, flaps are at stage 2 of 3. And speed's a little on the slow side. Generic 8 4 Papa turn, next tax away. Throttle up a tad. is feeling okay. Um, I don't need to be climbing anymore. Okay, I'm going a little fast now, so let's pull back on the throttle. Okay, the turn felt natural. Getting out of the turn didn't feel as natural. I need to get better at that. And need to head over towards the right side again. And drop throttle, we're going a little fast. Trying to make very gentle corrections. Where I often screw up at this point is overcorrecting and then getting into a recorrection loop. I do feel like I'm a little on the low side. Um, let's nose up and give it some throttle.
going to need the third stage flaps. Didn't do a good job on this turn. Well, maybe it's not so bad. But I am going to have to swing this baby around and slow down, get these flaps down, get the throttle up, keep the runway in sight, make sure we don't go too slow. Okay, I'm going to drop throttle. I feel like we're Okay. We've got the th flaps at third stage, which is good. I'm going to drop throttle just a tad more. Try to get us closer to 140, maybe. I'd really like to try to stay centered on the runway if I can. Very leery of making any kind of corrections at this point. Okay, dropping throttle as we seem to be on an okay approach. Alright, I'm gonna drop throttle all the way. See if I can feather us in here. Alright, a little bit of a little bit of a rough landing and bounce. Flaps in ground configuration. A little bit of a hard landing. I think maybe I needed to come in a little bit more before dropping throttle. Break. Contact ground. Executive airport. Ground services. Alright, I think I just go park myself somewhere. I think I already have a spot for me set up anyway. This is just an automated ground channel. I guess I should have looked to make sure nobody was coming. off. Here we are in Sacramento. Not very interesting. I think the engines have turned off or in the process. Alright, and I think if they're 
fully off, I should be able to turn off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.